First, let's take a look at the lambda 1 graph. Consider positive voltage, this region. The variable voltage supply is connected as shown above, so the E is positive. There is a saturated current. That means photoelectrons are emitted by F and move towards E. Hence, photons with wavelength lambda 1 has more energy than the work function of electrode F. Therefore, work function electrode F will be less than Hc over lambda 1. Now consider the negative potential, negative V. So this is the region. And in this case, E will be negative. So that's how you connect the uh, apparatus. The current falls to zero, implying that photoelectrons is not emitted by electrode E. Hence, the wavelength of lambda 1 has less energy than the work function for electrode E. So this is the relationship where work function of F is less than Hc over lambda 1, and that is less than the work function of electrode E. Now let's take a look at the lambda 2 graph. Okay, consider the negative voltage. So the variable supply is now connected as shown, so where E is negative and F is positive. There is a saturated current shown in red, implying that photoelectrons is emitted by electrode E. Hence, wavelength lambda 2 has more energy than work function for electrode E. So based on the two cases, we have this relationship and therefore lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2. Based on case 1 alone, we can see that the work function for electrode E is larger than the work function for electrode F.